This video is sponsored by Vectizi.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this wavy gradient background animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. Now, before we start this video, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you're watching my video for the very first time. With that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Keep it 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Call this render. Hit OK. Then hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid. I'm going to call this BG for background. Doesn't matter which color it is because we will be adding a four color gradient on this. So let's go into Effects and Presets. Search for four color gradient. Double click to apply this. Now you can absolutely play around with the color palette and use whichever color that you like. I'm going to go with something like a combination of blue and red, which is one of my favorite combinations. So I'm going to keep this one kind of a blue color. And for this one, I'm going to go with a nice kind of a pinkish red, which I think looks pretty awesome. And for the green color, I will go with kind of a purplish uh, dark purple. And for this one, I'll keep it black. Then I'm going to select the layer, hit S to bring down the scale properties, unlink this and let's change the height of this. So let's set this to around 160 should be good. All right. And then I'm going to tweak the colors a bit. So I'll move this one right over here. Maybe move this one right here. Place the red and probably move the purple somewhere around there. And now I want the gradient to keep on animating throughout the composition. So I will be using a very simple expression on the red color. So hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the point four and then add a wiggle expression. So type in wiggle open and close parentheses. Let's go with two comma three hundred. And now we should have a really nice movement as you can see in the gradient. I think two is a way too fast. So I'm going to bring that down to point five or point six. All right, so that is looking much better. Now, before I proceed further with this tutorial, I just want to take a minute and talk about our today's sponsor, VecTZ. VecTZ offers high quality photos, vectors and videos, and they do offer a lot of free content here. But if you are a VecTZ Pro subscriber, you get access to millions of stock photos, 4K videos and vector graphics. The subscription provides unlimited downloads at a very low price and creative professionals who frequently need images or videos or vector illustrations for design and animation can save a lot of money as compared to buying assets at other stock marketplaces. VecTZ subscribers also get access to value-packed bundles at no additional cost and the new bundles are released a few times per week. They also offer a very simple licensing term so users know what they can and cannot do with the files. So if you want to check them out, click the first link in the description below. Now once that's done, let's also add some jitter. So let's add a jitter of 50%. Then go into effects and preset and search for a very cool effect called wave warp. This is one of the most underrated effect I think because I think we can achieve some very interesting looks using this particular effect. So first of all, let's change the wave type from sine to let's go with something like a sawtooth. You can obviously play around with the number of different presets that we have like a triangle and stuff. So for this particular effect, this preset works pretty good. Let's increase the wave height to 160 and we have wave width as well. So I'm going to set this to 60. Okay. And let's set the direction to minus 90. 
wave speed let's bring that down to 0.6 and yeah everything else looks pretty good you can also change the anti-aliasing so i like to keep it at medium looks pretty nice and if you don't like the look you can always change the direction so i can you know rotate it like so and you can see how the gradient plays along uh, with the shapes that we have here so let's select this hit s and scale this up so it fills up the complete composition and then play around with the direction to get the desired look i can bring down the wave width i think it's a way too big so something like that and obviously you can play around with the wave height just don't go too intense if not it will start introducing this kind of edges so let's keep it at around somewhere around like 150 looks good and you can play around with the wave height depending on the look that you want i think this is looking pretty nice you can always change the gradient position to achieve a you know different look altogether which i think looks pretty good i think the red is way too intense let's make this a bit more subtle like that yeah and also play around with the purple color that we have just so that we have this really nice look and now if i preview this you can see we have this very nice wavy gradient but you can take this one step further by adding another effect which is called turbulence displace so let's apply that and right off the bat we get this really interesting look now there are again different displacement properties that i can select like i can go with the twist i can increase the size you know and we can change the evolution and just play around with this unless and until you find something that looks cool according to you so something like that you can also change the presets i can go with something like a bulge or maybe let's go with turbulent for now and you can see it looks like kind of that you know crumbled uh, cloth or something like that looks pretty cool we can increase the complexity and basically do a number of different things and achieve a completely different look you know pretty awesome stuff that you can do here and obviously animate the evolution so hold alt and click on the stopwatch let's type in time times let's go with 10 so it's gonna keep on animating maybe a bit more like 50 i think pretty cool or if you don't want it you can always keep it at wave type and you know increase the wave size and achieve a different look which also looks pretty good and always play make sure to play around with the uh, direction just to achieve a much cooler look here you know this nice liquidy style gradients looks pretty cool though so basically this is how you can create this wavy gradients inside of after effects and as you saw it's very simple very easy but i think it's a pretty cool effect and you can use this as a background in number of different compositions and you know play around with the technique try to create as more complex patterns as possible using different effects that is all for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and if you're feeling generous you're always welcome to support us on patreon all the links are in the description below with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out